Hello everyone and happy holidays. I hope you had a wonderful holiday, however that looked for you this year. I know many people had to change and adapt, we certainly did. Uh, but with that, we actually managed to find a few new things that we were able to do that turned out to be really fun. Uh, we always go to church on New Year's Eve and a special song service and singing all the Christmas carols is kind of the beginning of Christmas for us. But obviously this year that didn't happen. Uh, but my sister and my niece put together this fun playlist. We got candles and we went outside and we made our own Christmas caroling service outside. <laughs> And it was really, really fun and unique and special. And who knows, we might just do that again next year. So uh, definitely push to think creatively and a little differently, um, which is part of the theme of today. I know for many people, 2020, all I keep hearing is, thank God this year is over. <laughs> And it certainly has been a challenging year for many of us, although I do know people who've done extremely well as well. Um, but I really want, as you come to the close, to not as the saying that I don't particularly like, but throw the baby out with the bathwater. You know, what good came from this year? What new thought process, new understanding, new ability, belief, talent, habit, or just greater appreciation came from this period of time. And how might you take that with you to help inform whatever it is, whatever big and bold goals you want for 2021. So I know that even in this time, there have been things that have happened that might be good. Maybe you had some real quality time with your kids. Maybe instead of commuting, you got a chance to do something new. Um, so maybe you started a new fitness program. Maybe you still need one, I don't know. But uh, maybe you got to really spend time with yourself and got comfortable with that. Maybe you had to do your work in a completely different way. You developed new talents, new abilities. You learned that you're capable of doing really difficult things and adapting on the fly. Uh, maybe you started something new in a business that you never would have done if this situation hadn't have happened. So what might that be for you? What deeper reflection, what understanding, what truth what belief or what value was even triggered that you want to bring? What benefit do you really want to focus on and heighten during this period of time and bring forward into 2021? Because it's awesome to look into a new year and a brighter, potentially, future of uh, being able to do fun things again and lots of, of possibilities there and to sort of let go of everything. But we do want to hold on to the really great things that came from a particularly difficult year because that matters. That was there for a reason. And it made us richer as human beings, deeper as human beings, and um, potentially more skillful, more understanding, empathetic. Uh, it just gave us a depth that we didn't have and we don't want to lose. So I want to offer to you, what is that thing for you? That one piece of 2021 that perhaps was a surprise or a benefit that you do want to hold on to, that you do want to intentionally bring forward, and then how might it inform your goals for 2021. So something to think about in these next couple of days, but I think truly meaningful and not one to overlook. And if there are lots of ways in which I'm going to be doing things for the new year, including something on New Year's Eve. If you want to get all of that into your mind, your body, your emotions, your soul, I'm going to be doing a free motorcycle class New Year's Eve day. So check that out. All the information's below. And uh, I also have something special coming in January. So really, really looking forward to 2021, but also bringing with me what really mattered from 2020.
So on that note, have a very happy, happy new year and looking forward to seeing you in 2021.